<laughs> hey y'all, it's Reverend Joel and Neville. We're down here at Memorial Park. He Neville needed his uh, his lunchtime walk. And I thought I'd record a prayer video while we were down here. Hop down, buddy. I just finished a study over at Heron Point with some of the amazing women there. And today's study was on, uh, it's called What My Grandmothers Taught Me. And we're looking at all the women in the genealogy of Matthew. Obviously in that genealogy is Mary. And our topic today was about Mary. How often do we think of her as a disciple? How often do we think of her as the first disciple? The one person who, when they heard about the story of God coming in the flesh, born in the flesh to a young woman, they said yes to that. Mary was the first and only. There is something that we Protestants have sacrificed in pushing back against the beautiful portrait of faithfulness that Mary embodies. Today, as you go into prayers for yourself, for others, for the wider world, I wonder what we can learn from Mary. How can we learn to be carefully listening for God's invitation to something new, something possible that, that brings life? How often can we hear God's calling to something new and sense the suffering and pain that it will take to birth it? Say yes anyway. How often can we walk beside those who are doing brave and courageous things to embody the kingdom of God in the face of strong and powerful religious or political opposition and stay true to the path of holiness and peace and justice? How often can we see someone sacrifice, someone we love, sacrifice themselves for the sake of love and the kingdom and stand by them until their very last breath? How often can we see the great powers around us do their very best to stop peace and wholeness and love and justice from coming true and keep going anyway. That's who Mary was. Today, as you enter prayers for the ones on this list or yourself or the wider world, you don't have to pray to Mary, but pray like Mary. Lean into her way of trusting and believing and courageously working beside her son for the promised kingdom of God. Until next time, blessing, laughter, and loving be yours.